Hello, I'm Alex Gorioran, one of your hosts for the JWU Explore From Home video podcast series. We want to welcome you back for this university-wide initiative as we highlight the expertise of some of our faculty and alumni and how their experiences at Johnson & Wales University have prepared them for their career today. Today's conversation will be focusing on cybersecurity and risk management. And as the criminals have become highly sophisticated in the way they infiltrate IT systems, nobody is invulnerable. Hospitals, governments, small and large businesses all realize the need to protect sensitive data and information systems. They're looking to find experts to help minimize their risk to cyber attacks. And today we're gonna to learn a little bit more about what specialties are in most demand and what attributes help students find success in the majors at JWU. And today we're joined by Nicholas Tella. He is the Director of Information Security for Johnson & Wales University. And he's an accomplished computer, computer crime cyber uh, security information uh, risk management, compliance, and internal investigation professional. He's responsible for information security, uh, risk management governments, policy awareness and training, incident investigation and response, and security operation activities for over 15,000 students and 2,000 faculty and staff members across all four of JWU campuses. Prior to joining the team at Johnson & Wales, he was a former commander of the Rhode Island State Police Computer Crimes Unit and Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. And he's been helping a lot in the community and with the Rhode Island Legislature on authoring and acting computer crime laws to protect children from cyberbullying and internet uh, predators and matters related to data security and privacy legislation. Thank you, Nick, for joining us. Thank you. And we have uh, Allison Tavera. She is a most recent graduate uh, in uh, the degree of Cyber Threat Intelligence Defense from Johnson & Wales. Uh, she is a recent summa cum laude graduate. So congratulations on that. And again, with a Bachelor of Science degree in Cyber Threat Intelligence and Defense. And she's also a member of the Tech Collective's Women in Technology Mentorship Program and a hackathon collaborator with Hack JWU at Johnson & Wales. So I, again, thank you both for joining us today. And, and congratulations, Allison, on your most recent uh, graduation. That's pretty exciting. Thank you. So, so I wanted to start off uh, to our audience uh, here. Nick, if you could uh, tell us a little bit, provide us a brief overview uh, of the program there at, at Johnson & Wales University. Well, the program itself, it's, it's been designed to fill a, a critical growing need for cyber threat intelligence and defense personnel in the public and private sector. The program has been uh, designed with faculty um, that has real life experience. Uh, they actually bring their own uh, unique backgrounds in the field and incorporate that into their uh, teaching program. The program itself is designed to prepare a graduate to enter the field upon graduation. Uh, and we've had tremendous success with that. Um, I do a lot of mentoring and uh, training with my student assistants. And like Allison, upon graduation, um, their skill sets are in high demand and they all find great jobs. So it's a great program to get yourself ready you know, to hit the road running upon graduation. So, so with that being said, uh, you know, both for, for Allison and, and for Nick, what, what are some of those skills that you believe are, are needed to be successful in, in this program and, and the completion of your degree and prepare you for a job in this industry? And, and let's, let's start with Allison there on, on some of those, those skills that uh, you've employed there and have needed to, to get going. Sure, so I really um, use a lot of my soft skills that I've gained throughout my degree in order to succeed in this um, industry. Um, you need to be pretty open-minded, have the ability to learn quickly and have a passion for what you're learning. Um, and, you know, we've talked a little bit about like critical thinking uh, and, you know, I, I think with any career, you have to have a passion and interest in the field first and foremost. Uh, but, uh, 
you know, what, what kind of, you know, some people might think of cybersecurity and, and think about it, the technology side of that uh, or the project management or the, the, you know, what are some of those pieces there uh, in terms of collaboration or communication? How does that all kind of play into the, to your skill set or program uh, with that? Um, so this industry, you really have to collaborate well with people. In all of my classes, I've had to use my skill set of collaboration as well as teamwork, because this is a growing industry where you're going to be communicating with a bunch of different people for different parts of the project. Um, so having the ability to communicate with people well, get out of your shell, and make sure that you get results is very important. And, and, and the program, um, if I may, the program is designed to enhance those skills. Um, there's not just technical classes in cybersecurity. There's also classes on leadership, communications, writing. Uh, you know, we want a well-rounded graduate uh, to enter the, the workforce. And you have to be able to, Allison's point, you have to be able to effectively communicate with others, um, write in a proper manner, um, you know, so your bosses can understand, um, you know, exactly what you're doing. Because, some, you know, more, more often than not, you'll have a manager that is really not technically savvy because they don't have to be. And they rely upon you as an expert to provide them information that is easily digestible and gets to the point. Um, so those are the skills that uh, you know, the university has tried to incorporate into this program. And at Johnson & Wales, uh, the experiential learning it is really key to its success. Uh, I understand that there is a, a new cyber lab that is going to be uh, built uh, as part of that experiential learning. Uh, Nick, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're really excited about this. Uh, as part of creating this uh, security operations center, which is going to mimic uh, the exact industry standard that's out there. Um, it's a security operations center where students will learn how to actively work in such a setting, how to investigate the threats that come through, um, and the university has made a considerable financial investment in that. So part of this experiential learning process, they're actually immersed, that they will be immersed in working within that setting before they actually step in that setting. So we're really excited about that. And another um, item I'd like to mention is we were, are also in the process of seeking certification through the Department of Homeland Security as a cybersecurity center of excellence. And there's very few universities throughout the United States that have obtained that. And we're well on our way to achieving that. And that again is going to be uh, something employers are looking for because there's not many graduates out there that have that. That's great. Uh and you know, with that being said, uh, Allison, can you talk to us a little bit about the the experiential side on your perspective as a student, uh, how you got involved in the internship program, and and how that's maybe led into some of your your career opportunities? So at Johnson and Wales, we're required to take a career management course, which is really useful because we learn some tips for interviews, for our resumes, and so we're contacted through the internship program to help us also have that portion of our degree um, completed. I had an internship through the Rhode Island Division of Information Technology, as well as currently I just finished an internship with uh, SecureWorks in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, so the skills gained through Johnson & Wells definitely did help me obtain these internships, as well as um, helping me in my process of getting a full-time career. That's awesome. Congratulations. And I'm aware that Allison is interested in the forensic aspects. And within this program now, we're actually creating minors and specializations in such fields. 
Um, we're adding four new courses in the spring in forensics. And we're also going to be adding a minor where students that come in, uh, for example, with a career in finance or accounting, there's always like a cybersecurity aspect to that. So that if they want to learn how to do an investigation on fraud, it's always going to be related to a computer and its computer use. So uh, we're excited again to bring that to our students where they may not necessarily be looking for a career as a cybersecurity specialist, but in the field that they choose, they're going to have these additional skills to make them even more valuable to their prospective employers. Yeah, and, and, and this is such a growing and changing field. I mean, if you pick up any news or media outlet, you, you're constantly hearing about uh, cyber threats and attacks and you know how, how uh, businesses and governments are responding to that. Uh, so it's great to see the, the variety of how people can be a part of that field that you don't necessarily need to be a, an IT expert or, you know, but just having a, a general understanding of all those different elements of that, that you can pick that, the cyber, the law, the criminal justice side, the finance, the accounting, so many different levels that uh, you can really focus your career on. Uh, so that, that's pretty exciting and it's constantly changing. So it's nice to see that Johnson & Wales is, is also changing with that and offering some of those unique opportunities in its, in its curriculum. That's a great point, Alexis, because learning is an ongoing process you know, for a cybersecurity professional. Uh, it's not static. Uh, you have to, you know, things change daily to your point, uh, different threats come in daily. And as a professional, you have to uh, keep up with that. And again, that's something we are really trying to incorporate in this program. Which, which really kind of leads us to kind of the, some of the closing areas of the conversation here about, uh, it, again, targeting some of our prospective students, you know, what some tips or advice that you could share with them as they're considering this career path. Uh, and Allison, I'd like to kind of start with you on on some thoughts or advice that you could share with our, our audience and current or prospective students. So this industry, as described, is never stagnant uh, industry. It's always changing, which is super exciting. You'll never be bored, which is super great because as other people can be pretty bored in their career, this one, there's no way that you can be bored. Um, I would suggest having a pretty good um, stance on using Microsoft and all of the tools like Excel, PowerPoint, Word, because being able to communicate your results as well as what you're doing for your job is very important to hire management. I would also suggest um, having an open mind and being okay with being uncomfortable because at times you might not know exactly what you're doing, but as long as you're putting in an effort, that's all that matters as well as not comparing yourself to others too much. Just compare yourself to who you want to be. And, and, and as a professional in the field, you don't have to be an expert in everything. You know, that's, I think that's something that is really a, a misconception out there is no one can be an expert in everything. And you rely upon your team and others. It, you know, it, it's involved with collaboration. For example, you have to work with the business side of um, any company you work with because cybersecurity has to support the business initiatives. So if you don't know what they're um, trying to accomplish, you'll never be able to impose, again, the, the requisite cybersecurity controls to support that process. So it's um, multidisciplinary um, collaboration, which again, makes you successful. That's great. Now these are, these are all, all great uh, points and uh, you know, such an exciting field and, and, and really so many opportunities out there. Uh, so we're gonna uh, wrap up the conversation here. Uh, do you have any, any, any last things that we, uh, we didn't hit on that you'd like to mention? Uh, you know, there's definitely some nice growth with the cyber labs and the, and the new uh, degree programs coming forth. 
Any any last comments that uh, you'd like to share? Allison? This industry is getting more and more accepting as time goes on. So do not be afraid. If you're a man, a woman, you will fit in and you will have a great career in this industry. That's great. From my perspective is don't be intimidated by the fact that you may not be good at everything. Um, it's a comprehensive knowledge. You don't have to know what, you know, everything that's involved with writing code, but you also have to understand what that uh, code has to do with your job as a security expert or as a cybersecurity professional. And there may be things that are, are more interesting to you from the management side. And the program emphasizes that. Uh, you know, one of the things I learned uh, when I obtained my certifications as an instructor told me, uh, Nick, it's a mile high view and about a foot deep because you have to know everything. It's, it goes across all different disciplines from compliance to governance, to law, to uh, regulations. So again, it's, a, it's not just technical. And you know, my advice is it, you may not be the most technical person, but you can find a job, again, a, a, a very good career path in this program, in this field. All right. Well, thank you again, Nick, Della, and Allison Tavares for joining us and, and sharing all this great information. And, and more than ever, cyber intelligence and risk management are important as technology in the world and us are, are ever changing. So, uh, Allison, we wish you the best as you start your career uh, in the field there. So congratulations again. And, and Nick, thanks. For, we'll, we'll stay tuned for all the exciting developments and the the development of the lab and we'll we'll definitely want to check in with you once that gets built out and maybe we can get a little sneak peek of that uh, as that gets developed so and to all of you exploring at home uh, stay tuned for our next video series and in the meantime check us out online at jwu.edu to explore more thank you thank you thank you